Hello everyone, I'm James Merrill of the Popcorn Ready Podcast and today's movie review will be of the Uncharted film. Released this year, the film's major three stars are Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg and Antonio Banderas. The storyline, in a nutshell, the character Nathan Drake, played by Tom Holland, is recruited by Sully, who is Mark Wahlberg, onto a worldwide quest to find lost treasure from over 500 years ago. Starting off, for anyone that doesn't know, this movie is actually based from a computer game, so I'm sure there's many fans excited to see what sort of movies the franchise can produce. The film itself has a very big Indiana Jones and National Treasure element to it, which people love from the genre. The film starts off strong and has a fairly good tempo throughout. The film sets the scene quite nicely at the start and you do get to discover more about the characters and what drives them as the film goes on, which is quite nicely done. The script was fairly decent and I loved the use of the CGI in some of the more action sequences At near the end of the movie, I think it is a little bit overdone with a very big sort of fast and furious element to the uh, special effects and scenes. But no, I think the audience will enjoy what the director, you know, laid out in front of them. The chemistry between the two main characters, Drake and Sully, a.k.a. Holland and Wahlberg, I think go together perfectly, especially with the old and young dynamic. Both their performances seem to shine rather than one dimming the other one out, which is just what the movie was aiming for. My favourite part of the movie is when the adventurers are exploring Barcelona on their quest and other parts of Spain, and you get a sense that you're travelling with them, with some clever camera angles and great use of set especially as you go through sort of modern Barcelona and ancient Barcelona as they're travelling to try and unlock the clues to the mystery, with the element of danger of them being followed and hunted, all in real time. Now, on to some things that I would have changed a little bit. First up, I believe Antonio Banderas is underused in this film. I think he gives a real solid performance, especially with the Spanish connection, And yeah, I just think we needed to see more of him and maybe even see him being a bit more ruthless as well in some of the scenes. My biggest hate, though, of this film is Tati Gabrielle, who plays Braddock. She does well in her hand-to-hand fight scenes, but I just really didn't believe the character at all in her acting performance. I find it weird to think that the mercenaries would sort of follow her and I also hated her sort of wardrobe and outfits for most of the scenes. I mean, why is she wearing like a crop top and leather trousers for most of the film? Personally, I'd have loved to have seen like a grizzled ex sort of marine as the baddie um, sort of play the part rather than her. And lastly, the ending. A great chase and action sequence, which will be, for a lot of people, one of the highlights of the movie. But, because it was so heavily reliant on CGI, and you got the element of just pure fantasy and unrealism, it kind of detracts away from the initial sort of explorer scenes of Uncharted, which the film does really well at the start with. The production team should have shortened the trailers as well for release of this movie because some of the best bits kind of do feature in it so there's less of a surprise value. Anyway, on to my ratings, listeners. So, I'm going to give this one a solid, sweet, on the whole, 7 out of 10. Definitely watch if you're a big Indiana Jones fan. And as always, thank you for listening and please remember to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.